Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over exactly how to set up the Stripe plugin to support Stripe Connect. And what Stripe Connect allows us to do is it allows us to charge an app fee on marketplace payments on our bubble application. So in these scenarios, we're able to have a buyer and a seller interact on our platform with the payment from the buyer being sent directly to the seller on our platform. And we charge an app fee, just say 10% as a marketplace fee. Now this video is based on the Stripe plugin documentation in our AirDev functionality reference and will be linked in the documentation below this video. Now the first step that we need to do to set up the Stripe Connect connection is we need to install the Stripe plugin. To do so, go to the plugin tab of your bubble editor and click add plugins. Then search for Stripe and we want to install the one here which is Stripe by Bubble. Mine's already installed, hence it's coming up as uninstall, but just click install. The second step that we need to do is we actually need to create an account on Stripe themselves. So we'll go to stripe.com and create an account. And once you've created an account, you'll be jumped onto this dashboard right here. What we need to do now is we need to grab some API keys to start that connection between Bubble and Stripe. And to do so, we want to click on the developers tab here. We want to click on API keys and we can see our publishable and secret key here. What we have currently is we're actually viewing our test data. So if we want to view our live data, we'll just click on this toggle and it'll view the live data. The setup is exactly the same. The only difference is that we drop in the live keys into the live key section of the Stripe plugin, which I'll show you. So here I'll copy my publishable key, jump back to here and drop in my publishable key, which I can see is the test one here. Um, if I have the live documentation, I'll pop the live one here. I will then grab my secret key as well. And I'll pop that here. What we also need from Stripe is we need our client ID. So I'll jump back over here and I'll actually click on the settings tab here. I can see my connect settings. I'll click on the settings to here, I'll scroll down and I will just copy my client ID. What I also need now is I need to provide a redirect URI. And the way that I get the redirect URI is I'll click on the reference here. So this go takes me to the Stripe plugin reference by Bubble themselves and I'll just search for the register the user as a seller workflow and what I want to do now is I need to set the redirection URI in Stripe as this one so I'll just copy this one I'll jump back here I can add the URI here and I can see that it's been added so now what we've done is we've actually set up our Stripe connection Obviously, if we want our live client ID, secret key and publishable key, we go through the exact same steps, but we click on that toggle just here to make sure that we're in live mode and not in test mode. What we need to do next is we want to have two flows set up in our bubble editor. The first flow is we want sellers on our platform to be able to register a Stripe seller account. What this allows them to do is to add their personal information on Stripe itself and then add their bank details. This allows the bubble account that they have to be connected to their Stripe account and for them to receive payments into their nominated bank account. The second step that we want to do is we want to be able to charge buyers. So when buyers add products into their cart, we want to charge the buyer and then we want to direct the payment from the buyer directly to the seller whose products it actually is. And then we also want to charge an app fee or a marketplace fee of just say 10% so that we can collect a commission for facilitating the sale. So to do so, what I have is I have a button in my accounts page where the user can view their account information. And that button is called register with Stripe. And I'll just click on edit workflow. And the workflow I want to set up is register the user as a seller. And you can see the current user's email is set up. And what it will do is when the user clicks this button, they're redirected to Stripe to add that information. What I also want to set up 
is I wanna set a conditional statement on register with Stripe. So once a user has already created a Stripe seller account, so the condition is once the current user's Stripe seller account ID is not empty, meaning they've already submitted and linked their Stripe seller account to their bubble account, we wanna update the text to be update your bank account. So if they click on that button again, they'll be able to update their bank account details. Now, the next step that I wanna go over is I wanna jump over to my product page. And what I wanna do is I wanna set up the workflow to charge the buyer and provide the payment directly to the seller. So what I can see now is we have the button um, buy now. So when buy now is clicked, that buyer is clicking buy now, we wanna charge a user using a saved credit card. And the user we wanna charge is the buyer who's currently logged in and clicking buy now. So that's gonna be our current user. We wanna charge them the total amount of their cart. So I have a I have a variable set up called var carts total, which just sums the total of the cart that the user has added all the products to. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna click this checkbox. So the payee of this transaction is another user. So instead of going to our Stripe account, it should be going to the seller's Stripe account. And the payee is VAR sellers user. So what I've actually set up this variable to be is simply the creator of the products in the cart. So when a buyer has added this product to the cart and it's from this particular seller, which is the creator of that product, I want them to receive the money from this payment. The app fee is going to be the total cost that the user is paying times by 0.1. And the reason why is I wanna charge a 10% app fee. So this is the money that I get for facilitating this payment. And then finally, I wanna have a card ID to charge and that's gonna be the current user's Stripe credit card's ID. So this is the Stripe credit card information that the current user has. And now what I've done is I've set up this workflow. So what we've done today is we've gone over the full steps of how to set up your Stripe plugin, including Stripe Connect, grab those API key information and client ID, how to build the workflows to allow marketplace sellers on your platform sync and link their bank account information to Stripe and then link that to their bubble account and then how to actually create the payments to support a buyer on your marketplace platform paying directly to the seller and for you to receive a commission for that. Now, if you have any questions about this process or how to set this up, please feel free to leave a comment below.